Hey guys and welcome to the show. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting one of these things to be right here so fast. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cone of sight. And if our plane, or oh, I'm going to avoid it, gets caught inside that cone, the enemy is going to start shooting at us. We don't want them shooting randomly at every point in time. That's not very realistic. Only when they think we, oh, well, they have a chance of hitting us. Cool. So in this video, we're going to be checking out how to do that. So this is actually going to be a very straightforward video. All we're doing is from the origin of the plane, we're drawing three lines out from it to represent the angle of view or the field of view um, to a certain distance. And if one of these lines collides with our player, then we're going to tell the enemy to start shooting. So let's actually head into the enemy sprite. There's some things we need to set on the create event. We need the sight length. So, so this is how far it can see ahead of it. Um, let's make this 500. Then we need the sight left. This is the angle. I'm going to say 10 degrees. And then we got the sight right. Also 10 degrees. That's going to be minus. Then I'm going to be starting off an alarm. This is going to keep going. Um, and this is to determine if it can shoot or not. So not only is it going to be testing these variables, but also it's going to be providing that little gap in fire, which is quite nice. So the next thing we have to do is every step of this enemy needs to calculate the left and the right um, angle with relation to the object itself. So we can't just use the 10 and the minus 10, it's, otherwise it's not actually going to work. So in our step event, right here at the top, I'm going to say cone left and uh, cone right. And this is going to be image angle um, plus site left. And we're going to mod that on 360. And the cone right is going to be image angle plus site right. Uh, so right there we go. Uh, we need plus 360 to this one. And then mod that by 360, just like the other one. Now for fun, I'm actually going to add a draw event. We don't actually need this, but I want to see. I want to see these cones for now. Um, and we need to draw self mostly first. Just to make sure that um, we're actually working everything right. So we need to draw three lines, right? One's going to be the middle line. I'm going to draw it here in the middle because it's the easiest. It's just X, Y, and then X plus uh, length direction X of the site uh, length, image angle, and the Y uh, plus length direction Y. This one, and that's going to be the site length again, um, and the image angle. Very straightforward stuff. So that's just the middle line, you know, it's, it's not actually taking into effect any alterations. It's going to be where the plane's kind of going to go um, if it were heading in the direction of the image angle. So if we want to do the left one, we've also started with X and Y. Then actually, let's grab this guy because instead of using image angle here, we're actually using the cone left, which is like an angle, left angle. And we can actually grab this one too. And also use cone left instead of that. And to grab the right hand one, we just change cone left with cone right. And cone right. Let's see if those go away. Oh, actually we've got some missing brackets. That goes there. That goes there. All right, so this should draw the lines of where um, where the plane is heading, and we can use these just now to tell it it can shoot or not. So let's fire this up and actually see what happens. Okay, so there we go. That plane has got this cone of sight. They all do. This is really good work. So far, so good. So next up, we need the game to determine whether our player is colliding with any of these three lines or the area within that cone. So back to our code. So let's go to create a script. I'm going to call this SCR uh, target in range. Grab that. We need to say at description that. And we'll take some properties. Basically, if we go to the enemy, we're going to go over to these. Grab those. Let's go to target in range. We need an X coordinate. We need a Y coordinate. We need a site length, so let's do length. Nope, just length is fine. We need a cone left. 
we need a cone right we need an image angle and a target argument zero and I'm just going to copy all of this one two three four five six and I can also put these in here x x y y length cone left cone right image angle uh, target and then we want to do more of these I think it's at param x x one two three four x y y length cone left oh that didn't copy properly cone left cone right image angle and I am missing one more which is the target all right so what I'm going to do is instead of all these draw lines I'm going to say return and then I'm going to say collision uh, line like that and then we just grab actually we can just do that 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 I think that'll work there might be a few things missing let's see what are they we need the object so that's going to be the target we need precision let's say true and not me true so we grab these and we paste it there and paste it there and make this bigger okay so return collision line that or that or that so if it's colliding with any one of the three lines then it'll it'll return true so now let's go ahead and replace these and I need Y's Y Y Y Y Y what else so let's see length for site length and then image angle for image angle I've already got the target there what's missing there they're all being used very straightforward stuff so let's go ahead and actually use the script so we said that we're going to use the alarm zero to handle the the shooting which currently is used by our player in the parents um, alarm zero just says can shoot true so we're going to do the same kind of vibe but in the enemy instead of just can shoot true we're going to say okay well as long as you're not redirecting or, or disengaging then you can shoot so let's add event um, the alarm zero we're going to just override that parent and we're going to say if not uh, redirect then in here we're going to say okay well if SCR target in range X Y um, what was this called again site length that's it uh, where's this site length cone left cone right um, image angle target is going to be object player then we're going to say SCR create bullet and what did we call these in our create oh, I think that's actually living in our plane isn't it ah there we go offset x offset y don't need all these offset x offset y uh, image angle of our plane the direction of our plane and what was the bullet speed is that another variable in here shoot speed 0 0.1 don't think that's right let's check what we used for oh, it was 30 okay well let's go with 32 30 all right let's see will that go away should we're missing a bracket oh yeah well, let's test it out and see what happens as soon as we cross over one of those lines the plane should start well trying to shoot us down let's see flying around normally nothing to worry about we can still shoot as before Oh, here we go okay so not shooting not shooting not shooting now let's go into the line hmm nothing's happening just yet okay cool so we're missing something let's go have another look we've actually forgot to tell this thing to do another alarm my bad so it needs to keep obviously um doing the alarm otherwise it's not going to shoot 
Right, so with those changes made, we have the same predicament as before, only I think this time... Oh, I'm going to try to dodge it. There we go, this time they're actually going to shoot at us. And I'm actually regretting having this many planes <laughs> on the screen at one time, because if this was or 1v, what's it, like 4 now? I don't think I'd stand a chance. Maybe in a later video, one after this, we can start adding some health bars and some really cool um, animations. So I actually forgot to mention, or ask actually, which... Of these planes, do you guys like the most? Let's push space, start again. The green one's pretty cool, although I am a big fan of the red one. It reminds me of the Red Baron, which actually was a Fokker F1, I think, and not a Bristol, obviously, because this is a, a British plane. So if you found this tutorial educational and helpful, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this um, a couple days before everyone else has some early access, you can get aboard that by checking out my Patreon campaign. Links are in the description. Also, the links to the project files in the description. If you want to remove these annoying lines, I mean, they're just there for demonstration. We can actually go, let's do that now quick. Let's go and remove them from the draw event of the enemy. We don't need uh, this draw event at all. So let's go and delete that, fire this up once more. And you'll notice now that we don't have those lines, but the planes will still be interacting. And just like that, no more lines. Let's see if we can find an enemy. There's one. No more lines, but as soon as we get into that range, he's going to shoot at us as if they were there. Special shout out to my sponsors. Names are on the screen. These are people that have supported this channel over the years at any point in time. You don't have to be an active sponsor to support the channel. You can just sponsor me over a short period of time whenever you can. That is much appreciated. So until next time, happy coding, and I will see you then.